Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Sistonians, and welcome. You know, I didn't actually want to do this. I didn't want to talk about EA or SimCity. I didn't want to say it was bad. I didn't want to say that there were problems, because quite honestly, we already know. We know there's a lot of problems. We know there's a lot of issues with the game. When it comes down to DRM, when it comes down to offline servers, when it comes to not being able to play single player, and all that kind of nonsense like that, I don't want to talk about it because quite honestly, we already know, don't we? We already know that there's issues, we already know that there's problems. Although those problems are being alleviated, problems still persist. There's a lot of confusion as to what the game is, there's a lot of confusion as to why we can't actually play purely single player and offline mode. People without internet connections who have been wanting to play some city for quite a while can't actually play the game, and they're miffed about it. We also feel that there's been quite a lot of lies and truth twist truth twisting sorry coming from EA and Maxis about what the game is, about what they've done, why they've done it and how they've done it. But in the end we all wanna know what it comes down to, don't we? The game is online only and can only play be played online because we don't want pirates, dirty little pirates, sailing the high seas off the internet, going to the pirate bay, unloading their piratey goods, and then downloading the pirated copy of SimCity in order to play from them. Because quite honestly, nobody wants to lose money, EA doesn't want to lose money, Maxis doesn't want to lose money, heck, Sony, Microsoft, Blizzard, Steam, nobody wants to lose money. That's understandable, of course there is. And when it comes to preventing piracy in video games, sometimes our companies can hurt the, the customer. It's not a good thing, we feel hurt about it, but hopefully we'll be able to move on very soon and hopefully we'll be able to forgive EA and Maxis. It might not happen, it might happen, it might take some time, it might, uh, we might do it straight away, we might be very forgiving, but this isn't actually what I'm here to talk about. No, 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 no. What I'm actually here to talk about is a couple of statements from Lucy Bradshaw, one of the head developers of Maxis, I do believe, if I'm here to take if I'm going to take Rock Paper Shotgun correctly here. And uh, a couple of days ago, or even today even, she made a statement, because she's been doing that quite a lot. She's doing a lot of damage control. She's trying to say, hey, even though the servers aren't down, they're going to be up very soon. You know, that kind of nonsense. Saying that the game isn't broken, saying that the game isn't doesn't need fixing. She's trying to say that the game is fine the way it is. It's the way that they wanted it. they made it. They just didn't tell us that, that, that it was the way that they made it. And she said, said this. She said, from the ground up, we designed this game with multiplayer in mind. Use a new technology to realise a vision of players connected in regions to create a sim city that captured the, the dynamism of the world we live in, a global ever-changing social world. We also made innovative use of servers to move aspects of the simulation into the cloud to support region play and social features. So that statement alone brings up a few irks, doesn't it? To create a sim city that captured the dynamism of the world we live in. This probably explains why there are regions in the game where more than one person can play at a time. Of course you can play single player, but it doesn't work out that well. It doesn't work out well because due to the size of the city limits, you can't actually play by yourself, and then when you go to build another city, unfortunately, the other city doesn't keep on carrying on, it doesn't earn money or resources and stuff like that, and it can be quite infuriating. I think that's that's one of the aspects that we're angry about as well. And saying that they wanted the world to be they wanted the game to simulate a living, breathing world, well, how about instead of calling it Sim City, how about we start calling it Sim Region? I think that's a pretty good idea, actually. Sim Region sounds a lot more better off a game. After all, the game consists of regions, which you, play, which you make cities in. And if you're playing single player, then you have to manage that whole region, not just the city. And if you're playing multiplayer, there are lots of cities in a region. So I think Sim Region is actually a bit of a better name for Sim City. Yeah, I like that. How about we start spreading that around? Sim Region, hashtag Sim Region. Go ahead, guys. But then we get to the next bit, and then we get to another thing that she says. I do apologise for taking my time about this, but I just like building up a little, you know. I like getting a little practice, I like talking a little sometimes, it helps me out a little. Things take a turn for the darn strange when Bradshaw adds, The game we launched is only the beginning for us. It's not final, and it never will be. In many ways, we built an MMO. So SimCity, which is supposed to be a sandbox game, a single player sandbox game that we build a city in, but now we can't build a city, we can only build a small city in a region, so Sims region, sorry. It's actually an, an MMO, a massively multiplayer online game. Now this video is asking the question here. Is System City an MMO? Well, for starters, let's ask ourselves what does MMO mean? MMO means massively multiplayer game. I'm actually doing this in the lowest denominator possible because quite honestly some people don't know about this, I do apologise. Let me give you an example of an MMO. We have uh, Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is an MMO FPS. Then we have World of Warcraft, which is also an MMO, an MMO RPG. In both of these games, you work with other players and against other players in order to forge your goals and gain rewards and and stuff like kind of like that. Yeah, let me give you an example. In Planet Side 2, you fight in an army in order to, to take establishments and outposts against another army, and then you level up, and then you get XP and all that kind of nonsense. In World of Warcraft, you do rage, you do instances with other players against NPCs in order to get better loot 
and then also you can fight against other players in order to get other loot in PvP. So, is SimCity an MMO? Well, let's see. Let's let's break down the term a little. Massively. Is SimCity massively? Is it massive? Well, I guess Sim Region, sorry, can be big. Some regions in Sim Region have a can support up to three players, other of them can support up to 16 players. And the best thing about language and speaking is that we can construe words, we can reword our words, we can reinterpret them to try and get our point across. So, and let's admit it, massively isn't really definitive. Massively doesn't mean 20 players, massively doesn't mean 40, 50, 100. Massively doesn't have a certain number to it, does not have a specific number to it. So I guess 16 is a massive amount compared to three, or even singular. It was, in fact, even two people. Say if Sim, City, Sim Region was built for two people, it would be massively compared to one person. Now, is it multiplayer? How do you, in fact, let's, yeah, let's talk about multiplayer very quickly. How do you interact with other players in Sim Region? Think to yourself now, very quickly. Well, in Sim Region, you buy stuff off people, you sell stuff to people, their citizens in Sim Region come to your Sim Region, from their city to your city, their mayor might come along. Okay, I guess that's it. In Sim Region, do you actually work towards anything? In fact, what's the end game in Sim Region? I know that you can build wonders or these little. I haven't actually managed. I haven't, I haven't actually managed myself to get this far to build a wonder or anything like that. But I know that you can build wonders which require resources, which can be built from certain cities in the game in order to help yourself to help you, in order to help your region in some region. Well, it just helps out really. You can build like a huge airport which brings in tourists. And well, that's the only example I can actually give you because it's the only one I know. Now, is some region online? Well, obviously it's online. It's online because we don't want dirty pirates getting their grubby mitts onto their games. So to answer our question, yes, Sim Region is a massively multiplayer game. It's massive because it can either hold up to 16 persons in the region, it's multiplayer because you somewhat interact with people in order to reach an end goal, and it's online as well. Well, of course we know it's online. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I personally think it is an absolutely terrible thing. It is like the weakest example of MMO you can actually find. It's weak, you know, I can't even find an example anywhere that can actually be compared to the likeness of SimCity to an MMO. Yeah, okay, you can call it an MMO. That just means we get to judge it as an MMO. So Sim Region is an MMO sandbox game. Let's judge it as an MMO sandbox game. It's shit. There's very limited, if any, multiplayer interaction. It's only massively compared to a single player game, and it's online always because, quite honestly, we don't get the option to it. Now, here's an idea. If you want to make it an MMO, heck, I'll be more than happy to help you make it an MMO. Heck, I get game ideas coming out of my ass all the time. Working, playing games, sleeping, sitting on the toilet. So, here's my first idea for you. Don't make the region in Sim Region multiplayer, make the city in Sim City multiplayer. Have multiple mayors in a single city. Have like a head of transport. You know what, they did kind of good with all these different departments in Sim Region. Having a transportation for security, trans region for transport, utilities, all that kind of nonsense. How about instead of having one person per city in Sim Region, how about you have multiple people in one city in Sim City? Have somebody in charge of planning the roads. Have somebody in charge of plotting the... Oh dear, that's a bottle. Have somebody in charge of plotting where the houses are going to be, where the industry, where the businesses are going to be. Have somebody plot where the water towers are going to be. Have somebody plot where the electric's going to flow through. Have somebody plot where the ports, the bus stations, the bus stops. Have somebody do that. Then it can be an MMORPG. They have multiple people. They can have a massive amount of multiple people in one city playing a multiplayer game and working towards the cause of making a fantastic city. But we're not done yet, because in Sim Region, there are other places for cities to be built full of other players wanting to build a, bit, a better city than yours. They want to build a better city than yours in order to attract more people, attract more businesses, and in order to make more money, which will in turn thoroughly make the city a lot more better. You can sabotage their city by possibly selling them resources at a higher interest rate, or having this, or having services that they rely on which you provide shut off immediately. You know, who knows, maybe you can even just send over some criminals over there just to cause some ruckus, maybe send over an arsonist. Perhaps you can buy the stock in their stores and then sell it all when it's all really and just destroy the companies, all kinds of stuff. The limits of your imagination are the only thing stopping you from making a fantastic game. And I think I've just fixed Sim City and created a Sim Region and MMO that is completely different to Sim City. Yay! And also it's online. I've just made Sim City an MMO. Jesus, 
EA, Maxis, come on along and hire me. I'm a freaking genius. Why are you hiring Lucy Bradshaw to do damage control for your game when you can hire me in order to make your game truly what it is? You truly built your game to make it an MMO, a multiplayer online game. Well, I'm your man. I'm your designer. Please lavish me with your gold and jewelry and all your accessories. And please make me an accessory to make Sim Region an actual Sim City game that we wanted and not the pile of vomit confusion of a Sim City single player online multiplayer DRM management online fucking region game it is. I've been Systematic and thank you for watching. Don't forget to pay your taxes by liking and posting a good comment and subscribe to join Systonia today and I will see you soon.